system. There are so many young women. There are so many middle-aged women. There are so many women of advanced age, Mr. Speaker, who are fit to serve this country as minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise under standing order number 105 on uh, statement of fact, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the good senator from Malinya, the senator of Kakamiga, has indicated that uh, when the minister went to Capitol Hill, the minister was transacting on particular agenda, which he has said was, a, was agenda about women. Can he prove to this house that he's privy to the conversation that took the minister to Capitol Hill, whether they were formal conversations or informal conversation, and whether indeed he is privy to the agenda? Senator Eddie, yes. uh, let's save time to transact business. You know, there was a press conference uh, after the meeting, and everything is in the public domain. So, uh, just conclude, Senator. Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal to the young senator from Migori. Don't appeal. Just proceed to conclude your yes. remarks. Yes. That if, if we must defend certain positions, let us defend them reasonably. I've already told him that, Senator. Thank Boy, you. Just proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we worked so hard to form this government. You and I and many others we were not working hard so as to allow people in office, people who would then, Mr. Speaker, be tiptoeing in and out of office. We wanted people to stamp their authority so that our women, in fact, I believe, uh, what is the name of, uh, yes, Senator Gloria, I think she's the youngest in the house. She should be appointed the minister in the place of this uh, mama who doesn't have any idea of how important it is to appear before this house. Oh, Miraj is the youngest. She was quarreling me, that's why I did not. <laughs> If you're done, kindly take your seat. Senator Enoch Wambua. Uh, 